Hi, welcome to What's Up with DJ Now. Today we're making a New York strip steak with sauteed mushrooms in the Ninja Foodie Grill. Stay tuned. Okay, this is what I'm using today. Let's go ahead and get started by preheating the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're going to choose the Grill Function button, which will automatically make sure your grill plate is in there. And choose Grill Function. It will automatically go on to high 500, which is fine. And I'm going to start this as at 10 minutes. We're going to hit Start Stop so we can start preheating this. It will preheat for about eight, eight minutes or so, about eight minutes, I think. While it's preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and season up my steak. Use the seasonings of your choice. I'm using, uh, I use different ones each time. Today I'm using uh, one by Grill Mates, which is the mesquite. And it's really good. It's, a, it's almost like you're using mesquite chips out on a grill. And it's very smoky and it's very good. And then I'm also putting this a uh, little bit of garlic sea salt on there and a little bit of black pepper. Like I said, you can season your steak as you choose. I do it differently each time I have different favorites I use. This is just what I'm using today. Make sure and do both sides. It's always good to have your meat be sitting out and get room temperature before you do this. So I had this meat setting out for a little bit. Um, it just gets a better sear that way and it's uh, a better cook. Okay, I'm still preheating here as you can see on the display. And I'm gonna, now it's saying add food. I kind of paused it for a little bit so you could see. And now we're gonna go ahead and open this and this is when you would go ahead and add in your steak. You can really hear that sizzle when you put that steak down. That grill plate does get very hot. It gives a nice good sear. Now let's go ahead and shut this and we'll let it cook and I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, now I've opened it up and I'm checking it at five minutes and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to be checking the temperature to see where it's at. Um, give me a comment in the um, comments and let me know what temperature you like your steak at. Do you like your steak well done, medium rare, rare? There's all different uh, ways. Let me know how you guys like your steak. And I'll have this thermometer linked in my video description if you're interested in it, as well as the other stuff that I've used. Okay, now I'm going to continue cooking it. Okay, now I'm back and I'm going to check it. I've cooked it for an additional three more minutes. And I think it's going to be right at where I want, which is going to be about 153 or so. Once you take out the steak, it's going to continue to cook a bit. So it will be about a 155 for me, which will be perfect for me. Um, I don't like my steaks too overly rare or bloody but I don't like them to be super well done either. I just like kind of an in-between, like maybe medium, medium well, in between those ranges. I'll link the description, the different ranges of the doneness of the steaks, so you'll have that. Now here's a close-up, and I've had it off, but you can hear it still sizzling and see it still sizzling on the grill. This machine is an awesome machine. It's a workhorse that really does a lot of good stuff. So let's go ahead and take it out, put it on the plate. It's 
it's always good to let your meat rest a little bit after it cooks so it can you know can finish kind of cooking and absorbing all the juices so here's the picture of it it looks beautiful now I made some um, sauteed mushrooms that I'm going to be topping on the steak and I do have a separate little like two minute video that's on my video list if you're interested in making the sauteed mushrooms I'll link it here in the video and put it at the end of the video as well I love sauteed mushrooms they're so easy to make they don't take long they don't take many ingredients and they turn out as good as restaurant quality they're so good I, I can't rave about them enough so like I said if you're interested I'll put it in the uh, description and then I'll link it here in the video as well okay so here's the finished steak and this is again I don't know if I told you it is a New York strip steak I've been doing different series of steaks uh, on my channel and so I wanted to do a New York strip steak as well I couldn't resist I have to try one of these mushrooms so good okay let's cut into this and see how uh, the doneness looks okay it looks perfect for me like I said if you like it a different way you can easily do it the way that you prefer as long as you have a meat thermometer you're all good and you can set it and do it as you know as well done as you like or as rare as you like so let's go ahead and get this end piece of fat over here I don't like eating fat some people like it not me the fat part for me is for my best friend and my quality control supervisor which you will see coming in a minute my Sammy and he always gets the first taste because he's he's my boy so let's get that little piece of fat and we'll watch for Sammy and get him over here there he is give him his taste test there you go and it's approved and get a triple high five okay now it's my turn now I like a1 do what's good for you but I like a1 What's your favorite steaks? I like ribeyes. I like New York strip. I like filet mignon. I like T-bones. Steaks are pretty good. Now let's get a good look at this up close. A little bit of mushroom. Yum. Mmm, so good. get a closer look up at just as some of some of the mushrooms and this is just a 16 ounce container of mushrooms it makes quite a bit of mushrooms um, you can probably easily cover you know a family of maybe three or four steaks um, of course I eat the extras because I'm by myself and I love the mushrooms so I don't mind the extras at all Yeah, I think this steak turned out perfectly for me at 153 and then let it rest so it probably came up to about a 155 temperature I 
I'm going to have my social media linked in my video description. I have a Facebook group if you're interested in joining. I'm also on other networks, you know, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, and all the different ones, Instagram. But I really thank you all for watching my video. I hope that you'll try this. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel to help me out. And I hope that you'll like the video to help out the video. And here's some ending pictures. And I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.